Hello, welcome. Um, here's a problem about sequences. Take a moment, try it out, then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so we're told that the eighth and ten terms of a sequence are 64 and 100. So they're, okay. So what I start to do, even before I read their question, is just, I write that down. I've got my 64 is my eighth term. The ninth term is, is unknown, okay. And the tenth term is a hundred. Okay, so that's what we know so far. I bet they're going to ask us about that missing term. Let's see. If the sequence is either arithmetic or geometric, that's a weird statement. Okay, what are they saying there? They're saying it could be one or the other. Okay, it could be arithmetic or geometric, one or the other. The ninth term cannot be... So when they say the sequence is either arithmetic or geometric, what does that mean? It means you've got to either add some constant amount or multiply. It's got to be one or the other. So let's look at what it could be if you were adding or multiplying and then figure out which of these choices it cannot be. So how am I going to do that? The first thing, I want to, let's do the arithmetic first. 100 minus 64, those are, that's 36. That tells me these two are 36 apart. All right, this is a distance of 36 by adding. So the question is, what's halfway in between? Right, because we're adding this with an arithmetic sequence, we add the same amount each time. A geometric sequence, we multiply the same amount. So, what could we add twice to get 36? It's 36 divided by 2, and we could add 18. So, one possibility if we add 18 each time, that would mean our sequence would be 64 plus 18 is 82, and then plus 18 is 100. So, it could be 82. But we're trying to find what it can't be, so let's cross off 82. All right, um, let's go to geometric next. So now with our geometric sequence, we want to divide to find what we're multiplying by. Before we subtracted to find what we're adding, now we divide to see what we're multiplying by. So we divide 100 by 64, and what? let's see what that is. 100 divided by 64 is 1.5625. 1.5625. What does that tell you? That tells you if you're at 64 and you want to get to 100, you need to multiply by 1.5625. However, we should multiply 64 by something two times to get 100. So if the total we're multiplying by is 1.5625, what do we multiply by twice to get from 64 to some mystery term up to 100? Well, to find that out, we take the square root of 1.5625, right? It's That tells us what number is multiplied twice to get 1.5625. It's literally what a square root is. So we take this to the half power. That's, I think, the fastest way to find the square root here. And we get 1.25. But remember, when you're taking the square root, you want to include both the positive or negative root. So in, let's do the positive case first and then the negative case second to include both possibilities. In the positive case, we take 64 and multiply it by 1.25, and that gets us 80. In the negative case, it would be negative 80. And they both work because if you then multiply 80 by 1.25, positive 1.25, you get 100. If you multiply negative 80 by negative 1.25, you get positive 100 as well. They both fit the sequence. We don't know. It could be either one. So we go back up and we cross out 80, because trying to find what it, can't, what it can't be, and negative 80. And the only thing left is negative 82. And that's the answer. All right, hope this helped.